today we celebrate the feast of blessed john sarath blessed john sarath is one of the fervent carmelite superior generals who toiled for a renewed life among the carmelites in the 15th century he was born at ca in normandy in france in the year 1394 and he entered in his hometown for his priestly formation and became a priest in 1417 after this he continued his studies in theology and obtained licensure in 1437 and in the following year his doctorate also was done successfully after this he was sent as a regent to a sprawling study house at maubert soon then he was elected the provincial of the north central france in the year 1440 and in the year 1451 at the general chapter he was elected the superior general of the cor carmelite order which he continued until his death in 1471 he was especially remembered for his constant efforts as a reformer to the order to bring back the splendor of the religious observance at a particularly critic point of time when reform was desperately needed in the church his actions took two directions firstly inculcating the religious observance of the constitution and rules secondly introducing observance to as many monasteries as he could that is observance with its specific form in the sense of poverty and interior and exterior recollection he published also a revised edition of the constitution and wrote a detailed commentary on the roll among his better known works was for the john's broadening to include women as well as an extension of the carmelite spirituality to lay men and women in the year 1452 pope nicholas the 5th issued the bull cum nulla which formally recognized the institution of the religious carmelite communities for women by this time father john sorath had already established communities in many places throughout his life father john sorath acted with great audacity and buoyancy he is represented with a ciborium in his hand in memory of an event which occurred in lake as it in france during the devastation of the city by the enemies braving death father john gathered up the sacred horse which the populans had thrown, had seized and thrown about on the ground and carried them to the church father john sorath died after his fruitful spiritual leadership in the year 1471 and he was that beatified by pope pius the 9th in the year 1866 what does the life of blessed john sorath teach us we have seen in the carmelite motto zelo zalatus sum pro domino devo exercitum with zeal i have i have been zealous for the lord god of hosts so my dear ones let us become zealous carmelites by following the model of blessed john sorath thank you